Hello and thank you once again for joining together for this short time of prayer and reflection. We join virtually in our homes, at work, in our car, walking the dog or wherever. What we join united in our love for Christ. We return to the book of Esther for this week's reflection from chapter 8. Verse 8. Now write another decree in the king's name on behalf of the Jews, as seems best to you. Amen. Last time out, Mordecai refused to bow down and honour Haman. He had had enough. This was a red line for him, and he would not cross it. He entreated his cousin Esther, her Jewish name Hadashah, to go unbidden to King Xerxes and try to change the king's mind. This was a dangerous strategy that could lead to death. The stakes were high. This was a line for Esther, but would she be brave enough to cross it and do the right thing? thing. She had a plan, but I don't know if it came to her fully fledged and unbidden from God by a dream or some other supernatural occurrence, but as I have stated before, I do not believe in coincidences, but on God's incidences, fulfilling his plans in the world. The plan worked. Judgment was served on Haman and Xerxes granted Mordecai the authority to issue an edict signed with the king's own seal, an edict that undone Haman's evil and saved the Jews. Wherever we are, whatever our circumstances, each day we have opportunities to do the right thing. Sometimes that might involve personal sacrifice, discomfort or danger, standing up for the weak and the oppressed, or for justice is never easy. But we have a God who stands with us, who gives us the courage to do the right thing, and who gives us the words that we need in each and every situation. When your enough is enough moment comes along, I pray that Christ will strengthen and comfort you in the midst of it. Our God is bigger than any of the issues that may beset us. After all, he is the creator of all things. Let's pray. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, you hold eternity in your hands. You know the consequences of all our actions and you work and will us to do the right thing at all times. When our path through life is rough and tough because of our own faults or the faults of others, you are still beside us, guiding our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Help us to listen to your still small voice in the clamour of life and trust you as you lead us ever onwards. When we come to our enough is enough moment, calm our fears, still our minds, strengthen our resolve and guide our actions so that we too may do the right thing. And now the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen.